Hi, buddy. This is Mr. Folly. And welcome to Podcast 10.1. We're going to talk about heat, temperature, heat flow, hot things, cold things, energy phases, energy different states of matter, boiling, evaporation, qualitative specific heat, and water has a high specific heat. So let's hop to it. Temperature is an average kinetic energy. Let me show you the Boltzmann distribution. This is the number of particles. Oh, I'm sorry, I did that wrong. Boltzmann distribution. Whee! And, whoa. This is a cold peak. This is the number of particles. Maybe that is what I said. And this is kinetic energy, which is the energy of motion. Okay, this is the cold peak. This is the hot peak. So notice more particles have an average kinetic energy of this lower number than this one. So it's the average. It's just where that peak of that hill is going to be. And notice there's some particles that are really hot and some particles that are really cold. And hot and cold mean fast is hot and slow is cold. Heat is total kinetic energy. It has two factors. Okay, The two factors, to make it simple, are mass and kinetic energy okay, or motion. So what has more heat, a drop of boiling water or a snowman sculpture of the bunny? What has more heat? The snowman sculpture of the bunny because it has more mass. Although the particles don't shake as much, because remember solids shake, because they don't shake as much, um, the drop of boiling water shakes faster, but there's only a few drops of water. So what has more heat? Han Solo's donkey or Han Solo's tauntaun? Okay, well, remember in the Star Wars movie when uh, they shoved Luke Skywalker inside of the tauntaun to stay warm? It was a warm little animal, and it had a lot of heat, and it conveyed that heat to Luke who survived the night or whatever it was. A match, right? A match that's just hot. Touch it, singe. Or that planet thingy Pluto, which is like a minus 70 degrees Celsius all the time. Well, the match has less heat because it has less mass. Now, um, there's a balance between these things. So notice I'm picking something the size of a planet, which Pluto isn't, and a match, which is small. So realize that mass matters for those. Heat flows from hot to cold. Hotter particles move faster, so they dictate the movement. So if you touch an ice cube, your hand particles are moving quicker. And as it hits this, it actually slows down. So the heat is transferred to the ice cube, which would then start to make it melt, and your finger feels cold. So heat flows from hot to cold. All right, so heating curve for constant heating, what that means is that it's under a Bunsen burner or a flame that just keeps going and going and going and going. This is a solid. This is melting. This is a liquid. This is boiling. This is a gas. Now what's interesting about this is this is melting, but it's a solid and a liquid. So both states of matter exist at the same time. Liquid and a gas. So you cannot warm up. You cannot change your temperature. Notice this is a constant temperature. This is a constant temperature. You can't change your temperature until you've completely changed your state of matter. So if you're at a phase change, you're a mixture of states of matter, and that's kind of the, if you're a pure state of matter, you're not at a phase change anymore. Cooling curve, same thing, only start hot and cold. Gas, the, the word for um, unboiling is condensing, or condensation. So liquid, this is melting. Ooh, new vocabulary, write that down, kids. And this is a solid getting colder. Different states of matter have different energies. Temperature remembers the average kinetic energy, which is kind of the motion of the particles. The state of the matter, it, state of matter, is irrelevant. Okay. So, what has a greater temperature? Ice cube at minus five degrees, or helium gas at minus five? What has a greater kinetic energy? Well, guess what? Average kinetic energy, they're the same. States have different potential energies based on bonds. Solids, liquids, gases. Gases have the most middle and least. But energy is potential energy due to the position of the difference between them. Which has higher kinetic energy or potential energy? K kinetic energy equals the same. Um, so here, 10 degrees, this one. Um, copper, big KE. Um, and then again doing kinetic energy. Oh, big gulp at 75 degrees Celsius or Lake Michigan at 75 degrees Celsius. Well, they're both same Ke because of the same temperature. Now, potential energy is based on state. 
So the helium balloon has the bigger potential energy. Oxygen's a gas, it has a bigger potential energy. These two both would have the same potential energy because they're both liquids. Boiling is different from evaporation. Where does evaporation occur? Where? It occurs at the surface. What temperature does it occur at? Below the boiling point. And evaporation is a cooling process. Where does boiling occur? Throughout. What is the temperature it occurs? At the boiling point. It has to be at the boiling point. There's no other time. And it's at a constant temperature. Remember when I showed you those heating curves? Those temperatures were constant. Substances change temperature depending upon their identity. So specific heat, cement, changes temperature quickly. Right? So the identity of it changes the specific heat. Grass changes temperature slowly. So if it is summertime, if it's summertime and you're standing on cement in your bare feet, you burn your feet. But if it's summertime, you stand on the grass, it doesn't burn your feet. They're both the same temperature because they're both out in the 100 degree temperature, but it's transferring that heat that's different. And then metal oven rack versus the oven. You touch the metal rack, burns, ah! Put your hand in the oven, but not the metal rack. Oh, it's kind of warm. Kiss a metal pole, the metal conducts the heat quicker and freezes your lips to it. Water specific heat is very high, which means it changes temperature slowly. Changes T slowly. It's used to cook food because it has a very high specific heat. Um, lake effect means um, big water bodies have a constant, I'm going to call it a constant-ish temperature. So, for example, the lake really is almost never between any other temperature besides 80 degrees and 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Guesses have a high specific heat because they're spread out so much. Leo and the other girl, here's your bonus question. Why did Leo die and the girl with the diamond live? Answer that question. That's our question when we get in class tomorrow. Great discussion. And here's our review. And since the bell rang and I don't want to be tardy, I will just say doodles.